What's up everyone, and welcome back to Top 5 Central. Riding on trains isn't exactly supposed to be a scary thing. I mean, after all, you just sit down and wait until it's your stop. Well, until your destination involves you to go to a place like this. Yeah, trains can be stupid dangerous, so we here at Top 5 Central are cracking down and showing you the 5 most dangerous trains you'd never want to ride on. But if you're a daredevil and think you could handle one of these trains, leave a like on the video and comment the scariest moment you've ever had in your life. One person gets pinned for everyone to see, but anyways, let's jump right into it. Number 5. The Chennai Ramaswarm Route Lots of people are afraid of sailing, but not many people have that same fear of trains. This first railway combines the worst parts of both, because you're on a train racing extremely fast over the water. That's right, the Chenna Ramaswarma route in India might allow you to see some incredible religious and historical sites. It's considered one of the holiest sites in all of India, but the journey to get there isn't one you could take lightly. I mean, the railway was built in 1914 to connect the mainland to Ramasvaram Island, and it's hardly been updated since. Nowadays, tourists say the 1.4 kilometers of railway going over the water is a nightmare to ride, and local residents avoid it altogether. There's even an urban legend that if you ride the train during a storm, the whole train track shakes as though the train is going to tip off and crash into the water. Not exactly a relaxing holiday if you ask me. Number 4. The Devil's Nose Now if you ask me, riding any railway with devil in the name is a horrible idea, which means that this next one shouldn't be on anybody's list. The Devil's Nose in Ecuador has a pretty bloody history, and even riding it nowadays is super dangerous too. Basically, Ecuador's president in the late 19th century wanted to expand the country's infrastructure and thought a railway was the perfect way to do that. The track connected two of the biggest towns at the time and was a massive undertaking that took 4,000 workers to complete. Here's where things get dark because not all of the workers who were involved in the project survived. Many were crushed to death by mudslides and landslides so much that the president apparently prayed to the devil for the railway to get finished safely. Quite the extreme tactic I know, but it worked, because the track was eventually finished and open to the public. Nowadays the railway is mostly safe, but the huge perpendicular walls of rock on either side of the track tend to make travelers, well, a bit nervous. There's always a chance of another landslide bringing the whole thing crashing down, you know, if maybe the devil decides to go back on his deal. Number 3. The Karanda Scenic Railway How far would you go for a good Instagram picture? If you just answered that you do whatever it takes, then riding this next railway might be perfect for you. Don't get me wrong, the Karanda Railway in Australia is super dangerous, but it's also one of the most beautiful routes in the entire world. What makes it so beautiful? Well, the 37 kilometer long track runs through the Barren Reserve Railway, and those riding can see exotic plants and animals just by looking out of the window. There's also a huge waterfall that crashes into a river right alongside where the train passes through, so close that passengers in the train can feel water droplets splashing through the windows. That might sound pretty and relaxing, but the water makes the whole journey treacherous since it can make the track wet and slippery, which might make the train easier to derail. In fact, the route is considered so dangerous that traveling at high speeds is completely forbidden, and most people prefer to take the much longer train through the suburbs, you know, just to be uh, closer to the ground. Number 2. Georgetown Loop Railroad Most of the locations this list contain are pretty remote, but don't worry, if you need an adrenaline hit, then some are much closer to home. The Georgetown Loop Railroad is tucked away in a completely ordinary corner of the US, but the railway itself is anything but normal. Crossing the Rocky Mountains in Colorado, the train used to be the only way that silver miners could get around, but when the mines emptied, the railway started to rot away. It would have been left abandoned, but in 1973, it was restored, in the hopes that the extreme route would draw in tourists. So what exactly are you dealing with? Well, a bridge at a height of 30 meters for a start, and a railway that's 195 meters above sea level. There's also the fact that the track itself is incredibly narrow, and every journey across it places more stress on the beams. I wouldn't get too worried though, because the train itself has made over 100 journeys without anything bad happening. So long as you ignore the fact that part of the track is called Devil's Gate, you'll be fine. Hopefully. Here's our honorable mention. Most people have some sort of a commute when it comes to getting to work, but I doubt anybody watching will have a commute this extreme. The Minami route in Japan looks completely normal when you get there, but then you notice a stream rising from the ground. Here's why, the railroad passes right past Mount Aso, one of Japan's most active volcanoes. 
Not only that, but the mountain is one of the country's biggest volcanoes as well, and passengers on the train have a good chance of witnessing an eruption on their way to work. As if that wasn't scary enough, in fall you could see mist and fog, which is actually the hot air rising from the ground. There's also a good chance of seeing trees burning close to the tracks, thanks to the hot lava that splashed onto and burns the forests. It's another good spot if you want a unique Instagram picture, but between you and me, I would not recommend getting too close. Here's our second honorable mention. Now this railway doesn't run for any practical reasons anymore, so the only people riding it are those looking for a scary and exciting journey. With that said, the name sounds more relaxing than it is, since the train to the clouds is actually a pretty intense experience to ride. Basically, this Argentinian railway only sets off once a week and takes passengers on a 270 mile round trip. Along the way, tourists can see ranches and farms, as well as 13 viaducts, 29 bridges, and 21 tunnels. If that doesn't sound too scary, then try to remember this. While you're looking at the sights, you're also traveling on the sixth tallest train in the entire world. Still not scared? Well, towards the end of the journey, the train starts to climb towards La Polveria, eventually hitting a height of 4,220 meters. Add to that the fact that for much of the journey, it's a sheer drop down, and it's a tourist trip intense enough to make anybody dizzy. Number one, Death Railway. All of the railways on this list have been pretty dangerous, but none of them are quite as terrifying as this one. This Thailand train is literally called the Death Railway by people in the area, and it does not get more ominous than that. So what exactly makes this railway so unique? Well, it turns out it's the history. You're not actually in any danger at all when you ride the tracks, but for the workers who built it, it's a whole other story. Basically, during World War II, the Japanese army took over most of Southeast Asia and captured hundreds of thousands of prisoners of war. These prisoners were told to build a railway, which would stretch all the way from Thailand to Burma and help with the war effort. Many contributed to building the railway, but not many survived. Bad hygiene, abuse from the army, monsoons, and floods all contributed to the workers' suffering, and many died of exhaustion and disease, as well as the natural disasters. Finally, by the time Allied forces liberated the camps, over 100,000 people had died, and now it's impossible to ride the train without thinking about those that never made it out. And there's our video on the top 5 most dangerous trains you would never want to ride on. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe. It shows you want to see more videos like this one. Don't forget, if you want to click on screen now to check out yesterday's video about 5 storage units people got massively screwed over on and regret buying, click on screen now. The number 2 spot will freak you out. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed and keep it here on Top 5 Central.